Amen. Amen and amen. Praise God. Let me make sure I can be heard. I got unmuted. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Elwanda, Sister Danielle, and uh, for welcoming in our, our guests. Praise God. You know, for all of those, those of you who are joining us on Facebook page, I see people may be joining right now, and those who will be, will be joining later on on social medias, we welcome you as well. Brother Day, Brother Day, thank you, Brother Day, for your helping hands, for praying over our offerings. Um, as you all know, we've begun another new year. We are to February already, praise God. So let me just say on behalf of Pastor Joel and I, a great big thank you and a great big thank God for all of you, for, as Brother Day said, for your financial blessings, your prayers, your support, Thank you, God. All that is needed to be able to further the work uh, which God has entrusted to us for Spiritual Church Worldwide Ministries going on 12 years in June. 12 years. Can you believe it? The Lord called Pastor Joel out, uh, uh, Pastor Joel and I out uh, 12 years ago, but no, no, 2004, almost 18, 19, 20 years ago, but it wasn't until 2011 that he called us out to be pastors. Uh, but it's because of your spiritual and financial blessings and obedience to God that we're able to do the kingdom work that God has called us to do. It's because of you. Thank God. Thank God. Especially thank you for your support of the, uh, the radio ministry, uh, which serves our communities and all over the world via technology. The world needs to hear the uncompromised word of God. Amen? They, they, they need to hear that. And thank you for being able to make that happen. Thank you, Lord. And not only that, for uh, supporting our outreach ministries, uh, Unity in the, com in the Community, One Love, and, and our India ministry abroad. You did it through the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm not going to forget our volunteers who spend endless hours rolling up their sleeves to keep the wheels turning and everything moving in the right direction spiritually. The Lord has given us people at, 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 with the heart of God after, after God's heart. So we thank you. You know who you are. You know who you are. And most importantly, you know what? God knows who you are. The Lord knows who you are. So thank you. Amen. Amen. May the good Lord continue to bless the works of your hands and add a blessing to your lives in every area of your lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Thank God. Bless God. Now, you know what? Let's prepare our hearts and our minds and our spirit to worship a holy God, a just God. A merciful God, loving, kind God. Oh, Lord, we love you. We love and adore you. But you know what? The atmosphere was set at 12 o'clock when, when, the, when the worshipers and the prayer warriors came in and had Holy Communion came in. And you know what? They were setting the atmosphere. They were setting the atmosphere. So we're going to continue in that. Amen. Zoom family. Zoom family. Praise God, came in early and set the atmosphere. Thank you, Lord. Came in early. Thank you, Father. Thank you for, for choosing us, for choosing us, sanctifying us, dedicating us to live a life of holiness. Holiness, you don't hear that word too much, do we? We don't hear that word too much. Holiness. Holiness. Thank you, Lord. For your glory through Jesus Christ, we can live that life. We live to please you. We live to please an everlasting God, the God of eternity, the God of the universe, the God of ancient of days. Wonderful, wonderful God, counselor, mighty God, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. I see you applauding, applauding the Lord on Zoom, the hearts. Come on, send up those hearts. Send them to the Lord. Hallelujah. For the world to see that he's your God. He's your God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, Lord. Allow your Holy Spirit to prepare our hearts, minds, spirit to receive. We need to be refreshed. 
refreshing, refined, renewed in the name of Jesus. Your power, your power, your power. Hallelujah. Some of our Zoom uh, church room family, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for them. Thank you, Lord, when they come in to worship and come in to pray and come in to praise. Lord God, so those of you coming on already, let's just praise him. Let's just lift up a, a praise to our mighty God, to our mighty Father. The word says, and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of Jesus, giving thanks, giving thanks to God the Father through him, through him, Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord, our Redeemer. Oh, we thank you, Father, for allowing us to come into your presence with singing. And in your presence in the, is the fullness of joy. In the presence of God is the fullness of joy. Have you ever tried this? When your emotions are not lined up with the Lord, when your mind and thoughts, you're getting anxious and you're getting anxiety attacks and, and you're worried and you're, and you're like, oh, and you're thinking that it's you doing everything and then you start worshiping. What happens when you get into the presence of God? Don't you feel the joy? Don't you feel the joy when you get into his word, when you get into his presence with singing? Oh, Lord God, in your presence, is the fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. So Lord, as we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise, thank you. We give thanks to you and we bless your name. Oh my God, you are a good God. Brother Dave corrected me this morning. He said, I, I have to uh, say a little different than thank God because God is not just good. He's great. I said, oh yeah, chicken is good. God is great. God is great. You know the food just came in there. Chicken is good. God is great. God is great. Thank you, Lord. Oh Lord, you're good. Your love for us endures to all generations. Yours, oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and victory and majesty. We acknowledge that it is in the heavens and earth, all the heaven, all the earth, everything below, everything above is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O oh Lord, and you are exalted as high above all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand, in your hand are power and might, and in your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all as we come to you, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, our God, and praise your glorious name. We worship you in the spirit of holiness. Holy, holy, holy God. Creating, commanding, transcending at an eye. Forgiving, redeeming, romancing, pursuing, transforming lives and much, much more. We want to sing about that. And for those of you who, who don't know, who can see on, the, in the, in, on Facebook, our sister Liz, God bless her, is going to put the lyrics up for us. Let's sing about the holiness of God. Can we do that? Thank you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, 
rising first, the nail scarlet, salvation's champion. You are holy, holy, holy God. You are holy, holy, holy God. Romance.
first, the last, the beginning, and the end. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You alone are worthy. to come before you, to praise you, a holy God. Lord, you said come out from among them and be separate. Lord God, we come to be with you, Lord God, separate from the things of the world, anything that will pull us from you, Lord. Be with us today, Lord, as we lift up prayers and supplication to you, a holy God, Lord God, who seems fit to smile down on us and call us your children. Lord, we thank you for that. We can't thank you enough. Lord, we lift up these prayers to you today, knowing that you hear the effectual and fervent prayers of a righteous man, a righteous woman, your people. We pray that you hear our prayers and answer them today, Lord. Lord, we start off with Sister Charnel, Brother Cliff. You know they lost their son, Joshua, Lord, who was in a terrible car accident, Lord, but you knew the time. And we know that he knew you, Lord. So we just lift them up to you, Lord, for continued healing and the loss of their son. We ask you to be with them, Lord, and soothe the hurt, the pain that they must be going through from the loss of their youngest son. And we're praying also for continued prayers, Lord, and Annalise's cousins, cousin, Sister Catherine, Lord. She, uh, we're praying for her son, the Lord, for unspoken prayers in Jesus' name. We lift up our grandson, Mikey, Lord, who had an asthma attack, and they uh, took him in, Lord God, they had to bring him back. These uh, viruses and different things going around, Lord, but we know you'll stabilize him, and we know, Lord God, that he'll be stronger for it, which is what we pray daily, Lord, that whatever we go through, Lord, you strengthen us and make us stronger. So, Lord, bless him to heal completely in the name of Jesus. Open up his airways, Lord, let him continue to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. And Lord, we, through all of this, we got to pray for his mother, Lord, who doesn't know you. So, Lord God, maybe using that to bring her in, Lord. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. We lift up to continue prayers for Sister Patricia's daughter, Melissa, Lord, who is uh, healing from surgery. We ask that you comfort her, Lord, take away the uh, residual uh, pain and different things, knowing that she'll be in tip-top condition, Lord. She's got a praying mother, a praying father and family. Bless her in Jesus' name. We're praying for Sister Elwanda, Lord, and Sister, Je Sister Jeanette as well, Lord, for healing and what they're going through in Jesus' name. We're praying for Sister Yolanda for continued healing and for pain relief, Lord God. This little soldier, Lord, continue to keep her, Lord, even through the struggles. We're praying for her Aunt Helen's healing as well, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayers and we were able to pray with her, Lord yesterday evening. But bless her, Lord, for healing. And also Sister Liz, Lord, we lift her up for healing. So many people, Lord, going through physical ailments. Uh, we lift them up to you. Sister Audrey, uh, Sister Patricia herself, Lord, Sister Jackie, all for healing mercy, Lord, in Jesus' name. Sister Danielle, Lord, would you take away this little lamb's pain, Lord? Would you heal her arm, her hand, her wrist, Lord God? And uh, lower that stress, Lord, that she will get Walk in peace in you and be anxious for nothing, Lord God. It's so good to know Jehovah Rapha. It's so good to be in the arms of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We lift up uh, Sister Mary Baker and Sister 
uh, Shirley Pruitt, both in Chicago, and Elisa's sisters, Lord. I knew them when I was 14 years old, Lord. They used to make, the sister Shirley used to make fun of me sometimes. Lord, I remember that. She talked about me. Where you get this dude from? And Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that, that we're all now on the same page and I can pray for them, Lord. Heal them in the name of Jesus, Lord. They're like my older sisters. They're a blessing. Heal them, Lord, for their assorted uh, illnesses. And also, Lord, we're praying for healing for all the mothers, Spirit of Truth Church family members, Lord God. All the mothers in Spirit of Truth Church family, those who have children, those who do not, those who are guardians, those who are surrogate mothers, those who are aunts, those who are sisters, all of them, Lord, we're praying for them in the name of Jesus, Lord, and the men. We're praying for all the Spirit of Church, Spirit of Truth Church worldwide family, Lord, and we're praying for our government, our city officials, Lord, we're praying for our police departments, Lord God. We're praying for good officers, Lord God. Who, have, who now have to be put under a different light because of all the uh, misconduct we're seeing. We're praying for bad officers, Lord God, that you'll turn them around. And we're praying for family members, Lord, who will be affected by both sides, good patrol work, bad patrol work. When people get fired and people go to prison, their families suffer. Lord God, the devil's busy. But we're lifting them all up to you in the name of Jesus, because we know who the true enemy really is. And Lord, lastly, we're praying for our children. Yes. We're praying for our little ones, Lord, that you would bless them, yes. that you would keep them, that you would raise them, Lord, that you would use godly people to come beside them. Lord God, if the mother's not teaching her, then sneak the grandmother in there. If the grandmother's not teaching, Lord, uh, to send a godly uncle in there. Yes. Lord, if they're not teaching, send the coach of the, uh, the, the high school, Lord, to teach them at school. Somebody, yes. Lord, friends who are truly yes. God-fearing, God-serving people, raising children, Lord God. Help our children to grow and to walk in the way that they should go. We thank you, Lord, for these prayers. We ask that you bless them in Jesus' mighty name. If we all agree, can we say amen to the amen. Lord? Amen. 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 Praise amen. God. Amen.